My name is Michaela Renee Stewart, and I am taking the call on side of this debate. Hi, I'm Jessica Hollop, and I'll be taking the Great Britain side for this debate. Okay, the first thing we're going to be talking about is why Britain taxed us. Well, we had to tax you because we were in debt and we had to pay off the French and Indian War. Well, it still would have been nice to have some notice. Well, it was on your land. We didn't think we needed to give you any notice. Well, we weren't exactly in the French and Indian War. I mean, you technically were. But still, wouldn't, it, wouldn't this have resolved things if you would have just told us? Well, you would have rebelled. That may be true, but I still think that you might have been a little bit better if you would have told us. Fine. Resolved this case? Okay. Now we have our two little guests, Colin James Branson and Reed William Branson, my two little brothers, coming in for a short recap and other stuff. Yeah. Number two. two. Next is um ten ten nation and add is ten um in nation. Woo! Good job, Woo! Colin Reed. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna sit for a minute. You guys did good. Daddy, I want to see the video. You will. I'm back. So am I. <laughs> okay. Now, now we're going to talk about our taxation, taxation without representation. Which really made the colonists upset because we had no notification. Well, I'm sorry, but you would have rebelled. That may have been true, again, but you did it anyways. Yeah. Well, I still kind of think that you should have let us know. Well, we should have, but we didn't. And you rebelled. And I understand. And I think that it's very fair that, that you taxed us because of the warfare. And I do, I, and I really, I really do understand. Well, but we think that she went overboard. Well, if you had representation, then you would have gotten it your way every single time because Parliament could have favored you. Maybe we could have worked some kind of procedure out to maybe help us with that. I guess we could have. Okay, now we have the last time thing for Colin and Reed. Number three. Woo! Hey, silly things. I thought it was over already. Colin is one again. 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 Next is Tiet. Woo! Good job. Okay, you guys can go ahead. Eat the I'm back. Again. Yeah, okay. same here. Now we're here to talk about the Tea Act. And since I went first last time, I think it's a fair that Jessica goes this time. Well, we had to do the Tea Act because we knew that you guys love tea and we needed to make some money. Again. Notification would have been a good thing. Well, I'm sorry that it didn't happen. Well, don't you understand? Think of it from a colonist's point of view. If you were all of a sudden taxed by the king, don't you think that you, if you didn't know, don't you think that it would have been a bad thing? A little. But it made the king really mad when you guys threw 400 pounds of tea overboard. It's because we were upset with your tax, the tax on the tea. Do you know how long it took people to make all that tea? Well, yes, but we threw away your hard work because you threw away ours. Fine. Resolved? Again? Well, you did something bad, I did something bad, I think it's fine. So, my word of the day is notification. If you realize, we've used that word multiple times in each case. They didn't Can notify she us. Define it. 
Yes, I can. Notification is letting somebody know if you're going to do something ahead of time. And in this case, the first case was why the colonists taxed us. I mean, why Britain taxed us is because... You tax yourself. <laughs> okay. But um, why they taxed us, they didn't give us any notification that they were going to tax us. Well, taxation without representation, we didn't know we would have no representation, so there was no notification there either. And the TF, there was definitely no representation. Well, there was no notification in the Boston Tea Party. Yes, because there was no notification in the tax. So, now. I guess we're done. Okay. I guess we'll call this a, a truce. truce.